exciting news guys, Enerdrive are now endorsing parallel configurations for our BTEC lithium batteries. It doesn't change the fact that in an ideal scenario, you are always best to run with a single battery when talking internal BMS systems. But in reality, it's not always practical. Sometimes you need more storage. So if you are in that situation where it just makes sense to parallel, knowing that you could be compromising the longevity of your battery system to some degree, there's right ways and wrong ways to do it. So let's go through the best way to parallel a pair of BTEC lithium batteries. So here we have two of our brand new second generation BTEC 200 amp batteries. And further to that, as you can see beside me, we have a 2000 watt inverter. The biggest issue with paralleling lithium batteries with internal BMSs is the potential to overrun a board. That is the device inside of each battery, which has a rating. Often that rating might be, for instance, 100 amps each. It's quite common to have 100 amp rated boards. Now, in that case, two in parallel, it's a fair assumption that you could run a device that consumes up to 200 amps. However, what happens when the batteries discharge? One of those two batteries will switch off before the other. Effectively, the board internally isolates to protect the cells doing its job. In that case, that load, in this case an inverter, remains on because the second board is still on. That's your battery management system. But it's only good for a 100 amp load. You've got a device using more than 100 amps. It causes fatigue. It overloads the board. And long term, inevitably, it will destroy your batteries. So although, yes, Enerdrive are saying, go ahead, parallel your BTEX if you feel that you need to, we advise strongly that you don't overrun one of those boards. In fact, in this case, we've got two BTEC 200s capable of up to a 200 amp load each. That's what the boards are rated at. So we're limiting our load to a 2000 watt inverter in this case. It's gonna use somewhere around 180 amps. So, so long as in this configuration, we don't install anything that uses more than 200 amps, we're happy. We can support that system and you can expect many years of good use, no problems at all. It's quite straightforward. If you wish to parallel two BTEC batteries together, do so by all means, but only connect devices capable of running no larger than what one of those two batteries can support. And that will ensure maximum longevity. Okay, so in this case, we've gone to the trouble to connect our batteries. We've got red to red, black to black, or positive to positive and negative to negative, but we now need to connect our loads. And what's critical with connecting our loads is that we share the load as evenly as possible. So we do what I call staggering the connection. In this case, we have our inverter cables. There's no need for me to actually connect them, but I can clearly demonstrate. We are simply going to connect our inverter positive to one battery, and we're going to use the opposite battery for the negative. Sure, you could just connect it to here, but it's more advisable to put the connection on the opposite battery. We're staggering our loads. Now that doesn't just apply to your inverter, it applies to every circuit in your caravan, motor home, four wheel drive or camper. Always ensure that the cables that you use to do your parallel configuration are as short as possible. In this case, they're actually longer than they need to be. So we want the batteries as close as possible and as the cables as short as possible. We also need to ensure that the cables paralleling the batteries are adequate in size. They need to be the same size as your maximum requirement. So it's typically matched to the size of your inverter. It's unlikely you have any other load in your build that requires cable larger than what the inverter requires. So we've ensured that our parallel cables are the same size or greater as our inverter cables in this case. We've staggered our connections, positive from one battery, negative from the other battery, regardless of whether it's an inverter, a light, or a battery charger, or any other load, we always share the load evenly across the batteries. Further to that, for a parallel configuration, it's advisable to consider a means to prevent the batteries from being 100% discharged. There's a couple of ways you can go about that. A really nice option is the ePro Plus battery monitor. The shunt that completes this system has an alarm contact. 
My recommendation is that you reach out to the team at Enerdrive for further advice on that. But quite simply, that alarm contact can be used to trigger a relay to shut down all of your loads at a safe level, long before your batteries are 100% discharged. So if you're thinking about investing in a lithium system, and you're thinking that up to 200 amps isn't quite right for you, I suggest you give the team at Enerdrive a call. We have some really good people there who can support you with all inquiries. The BTEC lithium batteries are just the first step in lithium for Enerdrive. We also have a whole range of our Enerdrive Pro Series systems, which are designed for the next tier of requirement. So if you need more usage or heavier loads, in this case in excess of 200 amps, we have a perfect solution for you. Reach out to the team at Enerdrive for further support. They can help you anytime. They're available at www.enerdrive.com.au or you can ring our toll free number as well. So thank you everybody for listening. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Happy travels guys.